Tucked away in the 300 year old adobe in the village of Corrales is Casa Vieja, which offers fine dining fresh from the garden, literally. And joining me are Kate and Josh Gerwin, owners of Casa Vieja and good friends of the show. We're happy to have you back. We're very happy to be here. Thanks. And you guys look great, by the way. Thank you. Really yeah. look Thank really you. good. And of course, we're talking about the fact that you know you use sustainable agriculture. We right? do, actually. As much we're, as possible. we're really happy today because for the first time, we're going to make a, a dish and a cocktail, 100% okay. New Mexico. Cocktail too. Cocktail too. Thanks to Silver Coyote, a new spirit, uh, white whiskey. Uh, I've never been able to do this before. Okay. So I'm really excited because, you know, we really like to support our state, keep all of your revenue dollars here, uh, local, sustainable, and now we get to do, even behind the bar, 100% New Mexico. And, you know, we're talking about somebody who wins just about every cocktail competition that there wow. is. So for you to be able to do your first drink from New Mexico, that is so cool. It's, it means a lot to us because yes. that's really what we want to do. And behind the the bar it tends to be a little bit more difficult we <laughs> use garden ingredients but when it comes to the spirits we haven't been able right. to and now we can what what is it called actually it's called silver coyote it's cool. a white whiskey um really fabulous amazing stuff and you can come to casa vieja try a cocktail that i'm going to make for you today 100 percent new mexican awesome well Very josh fun. should we go food first uh we can do it at the same time we're gonna start with some purple viking potatoes okay well what are you making us by the way uh roasted potatoes we have some that we roasted earlier and okay. you're just gonna cut up the potato these potatoes are from hip chick farms mm. you know hip chick farms corrales nice Right. So everything we have here is from local farms. We have Hipchuk Farms. We have Arco Organics. I don't know if you guys know about Arco Dennis Organics. Dennis Brines. What is that? Arco Organics is in Corrales. Okay. Um, not only are they an organic and sustainable farm, however, okay. here in New Mexico, they teach developmentally disabled and employ Oh wow! Developmentally disabled, so, so we support we them as much as possible. We talk about an amazing thing here in New Mexico. Not only are you supporting your locals, you're you're using sustainable agriculture, love but you're also that. doing something incredible uh, and employing For people. Yeah, as a restaurant, we like to use them as much as possible. All of our greens, everything, whenever we can, and they're in Corrales. Not only that, residents of Corrales have started donating land and property, Scanlon land. I mean, they're really and they're they're donating it to Arco Organics so that they can farm all this extra farmland. I love hearing it's that. Great. I mean, it's great so way to come that practices what they preach. Right. They're not telling you, you should use local, pro I mean, they are really using local products and they have so much pride. I Josh mean, and I so this clear. morning got these eggs from our eggs Seriously? and our chickens. We have 34 chickens at Casa Vieja, no. nine goats, a donkey, which <laughs> that doesn't count. Um, so these are actually from, from our own restaurant and same with these little flowers I'm gonna garnish with. Really they came from our garden this morning. So we've got okay. local tomatoes, homemade tarragon mm. vinegar and uh, garlic oil from Valley Garlic Producer. Wow. Corrales Farmers Market every nice Sunday. Sunday. Oh, absolutely. Oh, it's the best garlic oil ever. Whoa. So it's just in a blender. We have one part mm. vinegar to three parts garlic oil and our fresh semi soft tomatoes. Okay. You just blend them? Just blend them. Okay. It's easy enough. Throw in the garlic oil. Oh my gosh. It smells really good too. If you, you like know, garlic, you'll love that. Sometimes uh, the most salt, simple ingredients white pepper. Okay, so you so did the tomatoes. Vinaigrette's the, done. Yeah. The vinegar, tomatoes, garlic oil, and so white pepper. You got pepper. a tomato garlic vinaigrette. Oh. So oh, nice that's heavenly. and fresh, easy. You know what was that, like 30 seconds or less? Less. Right? Yes. So do you want to start your drink while I start I am. cutting some more things? So you're going to cut up the veggies? Yeah, we just have a mixing bowl. We have our fresh greens from Arco Organics that I'm going to throw everywhere. Gosh. Isn't it amazing though when you see fresh? vegetable and you see from the garden it does it just I smells know. different it looks different it just it's so much more appetizing right. so you know we're just gonna start building our salad okay and over so. here i've got some uh, montoya farms honey you can get this again mm. at corrales uh, growers market this is one of my most favorite things that i have and i, I want to talk about this so very briefly okay evelyn losak is a uh, a farmer a farming not only do they have losak farms uh oldest farming community is corrales right she's been there since the 1800s she gave us two years ago when we opened a vinegar mother we've been feeding it local apples for two years <gasps> local vinegar mother it's growing it's sustaining it's this vinegar mother she was given by her mother 
No so we're talking way. like a hundred year old vinegar mother. Wow. Um, we're making our own vinegars now and uh, instead of using lime juice for acidity in my cocktail, uh -huh. I'm using a local apple cider vinegar. Wow. That really is fun so stuff. cool. So and you're so creative, local. Kate, though. You really Thank are. You. You're one of the most creative mixologist bartenders I've ever met, really, anywhere in this country. So I call this the smoked coyote and I just want to show people are always asking like how you get these really interesting things. Okay. You have smoke machines, you have all these crazy things. Yeah. I'm just taking some lavender, just right from our own garden. Oh my I'm just going to light it and catch the smoke right underneath. And then I'm going to shake this up in the cocktail. <gasps> That's all I'm going to do, right? Just shake a little bit of smoke in there. Whoa. It's just going to add a little bit of complexity, but this is something you can do just fun, having fun with your friends at home. Where did you, you come jump? up with this creativity? Oh, I don't know. Oh my gosh. Lots of fun. And the colors of her drink always intrigue me too. <laughs> prickly pear. Uh, you know me and my local stuff. I love prickly love pear juice. I love Always it. Local. She shakes it up good. I love it. And you're over here, you're cutting? So we only have a couple minutes, so tell yeah, us so where the process is. these are fresh tomatoes from Ooh. Arc Organics. Again, I mean, we're just building our salad over here. Okay. You know, we've got some fresh banana peppers that Joseph Alfaro from South Valley Farms planted Ooh. in our garden. Okay, can I just so, taste one? Sure. I always I want to taste a banana so pepper. So we took it out this morning. Mm. So your fresh, fresh garden salad can be whatever you plant in your garden, and hopefully you already planted your favorite vegetables in your own garden. I, so I don't have a garden yet. Just I need go one. out. Yeah, <laughs> everyone should have a garden. Sustainability and local food is always the best way. Not to only go. should you have a garden, but, but if you grow too much, yeah. you bring your excess to Casa Vieja. We do food trade. Seriously, you do? That's how I get my prickly sure. pears every year. You guys have prickly pears at home. You've got bushes on the side of your house. You don't know what to do with them. Bring them to us. Come time. Wow. We, will, we will do a food trade. Oh, that's good. You, you give make us your food, you right there. we'll make it back for you. That is cool. And let's tell all our viewers where they can find you so that they can head on over. It's very, very simple. Of course, in Corrales, on Corrales Road. And if you want to call 505-508-3244, if you want, do they need to make reservations come in? They don't have to at all. No, we've got Perfect. plenty of room. Fabulous. And they're open Monday through Saturday, as well as on Sunday from 10 to 9 p.m. Very, very convenient hours. And when we come back, we're going to see the finished product, and I'm going to taste this beautiful drink. It's beautiful. Thank you so Maybe much. I can't wait until the commercial. Go to Casa.com for today's recipe. Casa Vieja in our kitchen here at New Mexico Style. Josh and Kate Gerwin, owners and amazing bartender and mm -hmm. chef. And of course, I shouldn't say bartender because you're not really a bartender. You're, I, I prefer the term. You're a mixologist. You know what? Uh, more of it has to do with the interaction of the guests than it has to do with that. But That's I'm true. a bartender. You are amazing, what you, everything you do. And real quickly, Josh, tell everybody what we've been doing. I was just saying, how can I be on a diet while I'm sitting here eating potatoes out of the pan? Oh, <laughs> I seared a local uh, hanger steak just in a cast oh. iron over Branch Ranch, ranch Farms, Branch local ranch again. Farms, local. Gosh. So local purple Viking potatoes. We'll have a poached egg from our farms, local local steak, local tomatoes, oh. a, so, a whole meal. You could have it for dinner, uh, an egg, you could have it for breakfast if you really wanted to. Oh and, yeah. Um, you know? And those potatoes are, by the way, really good. <laughs> I can't keep my hands out of the pan. That's and fine. That drink, I made them for you. That drink is incredible too. And before we start eating the food, which we will, we want to thank all of today's guests. Such a good time today. It was a blast. And if there's anything that you need to know about today's show, all you need to do is log on to our website at casa.com. And coming up tomorrow on Mexico Style, we're live with TMZ to hear the Hollywood buzz. Woo -woo. And it's the dry New Mexico air sucking the moisture out of your skin. Mark Pardo has a solution. Fabulous. And you know what? We're going to be talking about uh, the talk about the debt ceiling. It's a big deal, of course, in our country, and we're going to tell you how it's affecting New Mexico families. So yes. that is all tomorrow. You don't want to miss it, and we don't want to miss the food. Can we no. taste? Go for Please. it. Can we go for it? Seriously? Yeah. Okay, 100%. I don't even know where to go first. Even that pottery, Hanselman's, you can find that in Corrales. We've got we've got so many great things here in, in New Mexico. Um, we should start utilizing what we have. Okay, yeah. mm -hmm. I'm going for it. Look, ready to taste? <laughs> yeah. Mmm. 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 Mm. Oh, good. Mmm, it's really good. Mm -mm. So good. Oh, How good is the dressing? It's awesome. Drink too. Right? Enjoy, yeah. Mm. It's all about the freshness. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Fresh. Salute. Salute. Enjoy. Cheers. Thank you all so much for joining us and thank you guys so Have much. A good day. Of course, we love coming in. Thank day. you so much. Support New Mexico yes. agriculture. <laughs> Absolutely. Our local farms. We have so much in Corrales. Mm. I love Corrales. It's oh, a beautiful it's a great area. Place. Did you see so us great. do our horse and carriage ride in Corrales? I didn't. Mm. How fun was that, Kristen? You know, we have a local B&B of a local